Hi, this is Ossing. Today I would like to share how to express the level of satisfaction by using smiley face. So let's say we have three questions here. Question 1, question 2, and question 3. Each of them we have three levels of satisfaction. So we can use the option button under the active X controls. So we have the first one, which is, okay, we can click the properties to change the caption. So for the caption, we can change to unset this factory then the second we can have copy and paste we can have in different and the third we can have satisfactory Okay, then we just select this three and we change the group name. Look for the group name. This is first question, so we can group them as group one. Okay, next we copy the whole thing. These three command buttons, copy and then paste to make it for the satisfaction level for question number two and we change the group name to two and the last one for group number three so change to group three then done so next what we have to do here is we insert the smiley face so look for smiley face under the basic shapes so we put it here the smiley face okay we can first fill the shape with the color that we want and next we can check for the shape outline also change the, the color that we want and we can change look for the style of the color under more colors here we can notice the rgb combinations which may have to use it later so we must remember red consists of 255 then the green we have 192 so we have to record this number so that maybe we can use later next let's move on to developer and look for Visual Basic and we start to write our code okay this is the emoji shade which is the first shade okay then we insert the code here as usual give a name to this project we can use expression and we need two variables here one is to write run the worksheet and one is to write the object so we deem worksheet as worksheet so the one without s this is very important so that we can run the second variable or else this one cannot be run and we might have object not file error so this one is object Okay, so we will run using the for loop for each worksheet in active workbook dot worksheets. We have many worksheets, then we run one by one, and then we have for each object in worksheet dot ole objects so as we can see if we run in this way then we are able to 
call the OLE objects. Otherwise, we are not able to run using this function. So what we have to do here is we check if this object with caption equal to so what we have to do here we have three options unsatisfactory indifferent and satisfactory so let's say unsatisfactory we let it be zero one and two so zero the one we don't have to check for because will remain as zero as long as we did not add any value so what we have to call here is the indifferent and the satisfactory so we have in different make sure the spelling exactly the same then so what we have to do next is to check the value so if this is indifferent indifferent then we check is it selected selected means that with value through through value then we need another variable say a so a equal to a plus one so if let's say the user selected indifferent which means that we have to consider value so we need to add on to accumulate the value using the variable a so let's initiate a with zero equal to zero okay if let's say zero if let's say indifferent then should count as one so start with if and with if of course we we have more than one options more than one option here is not only indifferent so we have also else if this object with caption equal to satisfactory then we should have the value if okay i'm going to copy and then paste it so that we don't have to type again we just have to change the value to two okay then we still have another option which is unsatisfactory but unsatisfactory we don't have to add any value so remain as a so we have start from if and with if okay start for for one done of course we need to go to next for one worksheet done of course go to next okay so what we have to do here a very important step if let's say we have more than one objects maybe we have option buttons we have chat box we have command button all that so what we have to do here we have to check the type so how to check the type we just make use of if the type name okay so we call the object and check for the type the type name is option button so the spelling is very important the syntax is very important Shun button then we should run this okay start with if of course we need and with if okay so everything completed for the coding part okay to check for the selection so now next we have to change what should be reflected on this smiley face okay so we have sheet one dot this is shapes and we call the range to write the name so range using array the syntax is very important this is smiley face the spelling must be exactly the same smiley face one okay close bracket for the array and close bracket for the range then we call the fill so we are going to fill the color okay the four color 
by using the RGB function. So equal to RGB. So as we noticed just now, the red color that we use is 255. And the green color we use 192. But bear in mind that the maximum number that we use here is 2. So let's say we use weighted average, means that we take average of the total score and we have maximum of 2, which will double this value and will result a yellowish color. Okay, it's not like an orange that we want. So what we have to do here, always take the number that we want here over the total that we apply, the maximum that we apply. So maximum value that we apply is 2. So we take one, 192 divided by 2, which is 96. And this will times the weighted average of the total score. So we have A divided by 3, since we have 3 questions. So if the user selected satisfactory for 3 questions, it means that 2 plus 2 plus 2 divided by 3, 3 questions, and we have a value of 2. 2 times the value 96, then we will get the value that we want, which is 192. Okay, not using any blue color, so M. Okay, next is to change the degree of smile. So we have sheet 1 dot. Okay, if let's say lazy, then we just copy the one that we have previously in the previous line. So we dot. Now this time we are going to adjust make and make adjustment on the small so we have adjust item one okay and the maximum degree of smiling is 0 0.04653 so in other words the maximum level of set is negative Okay, so with the maximum level of neg sadness, we have negative 0 0.04653. So we have also need to consider what is the maximum number applied. We have to bear in mind that the highest level of happiness and the highest level of sadness should be the opposite of each other, which means that the line in between should be balanced which means that the maximum value here should be divided by 2. So if let's say we use 3 here, then 3 divided by 2, then we should times this value by 1.5. If let's say we are using 2 here, so we have 2 over 2, which is 1. So we times this value by 1. In, others, in other words, we don't have to change anything here. Then we just plus the weighted average of the satisfaction that we have. Okay, then we times 0 0.04. 653. Okay, then done. Okay, let's see what will happen. Okay, as we can see, now this is all not being selected, which means that it's considered unsatisfactory. So let's say, let's see. So when we run, so very angry, red color, very sad. Okay, so unsatisfactory. Then we run. So same, how let's say we change to indifferent. Then the small here should be lever because it's indifferent. So as we can see, lever. Now the color is getting orange. How let's say satisfactory. Run. Okay, very happy. So we can like one satisfactory, one indifferent, and one unsatisfactory. So it should be average indifferent as well. So check, so indifferent. Okay, two satisfactory, one unsatisfactory. So we'll have a little bit small. Okay, one indifferent, two satisfactory. That will have higher level of happiness. Okay, all satisfactory will be very happy. Okay, then we done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.